Hello guys and welcome to this wonderful tutorial in which in this tutorial we're gonna create a wonderful navigation bar which is gonna have some hover or whatever you wanna call it and we are gonna create this navigation very simply and this is our final result as you can see right here um, as you can see I created everything in one file like everyone else doing other files I like make one for normal navigation more than other for hover effects but I do everything in one file as you can see when I have my every single layer turned off it's just simply blank I turn on my main background for navigation where it looks kind of like this which has nice wonderful gradient in it and some transparency trans transparency as you can see right here it's, it has checkboard effect um by the way I'm using Photoshop CS5 which my brother just up up upgraded for me like two weeks ago uh, and now I'm going to turn on my dividers with divide every single button in individual parts as you can see here we're going to use some guides and everything to offset and make some of those uh, dividers and now comes the normal text which is going to be just gray or whichever color you want to make it is based on your gradient colors and when someone hovers over it this is what our button is going to look like not every single just one the one they're hovering over so this is our basic tutorial on how we're going to do that and so let's get started I'm going to create a new file that is going to be called navbar let's just call that it's going to be about 800 pixels by 50 pixels and then I'm just going to press enter and I'm just going to have my selection tool or move tool and first of all rename our background layer double click the name and just just name it BG and delete it maybe you want to do it I'm just, well you can't delete it because you don't have any other ledges so let's just create our main shape which is going to be rounded rectangle tool I'm going to select from the or let's just go to fix size if you click this right arrow near the um what do you call this free shape tool click fix size and you're going to do this 800 by let's just say 70 pixel 70 pixel you will get to know why well let's just do 80 pixel um as you can see we have a nice little wonderful thing but um i think we're going to bump up the radius a little so let's just click this and if you click it one more time delete the other shape you can see we have a nice little navigation bar um, let's just move this and I deleted my background layer because that's not needed and let's just name the shape main shape and there, we, there you have your main shape now let's double click near the name not on the name near the name and let's choose a gradient color of uh, hmm, this one yep uh, or this one whichever you want to use it whichever you based on your website then press ok and press ok we're not going to make any changes to that layer so right now let's group this layer you can press ctrl g or come over here and create a new group icon right here just drag and drop your shape in there i'm going to double click the group name name it main shape as you can see we have nice little um, back on right there now I'm going to create our dividers on um, 160 pixel offset and how did I do that let's just say I have five buttons on my website navigation bar so I'm going to open my calculator our total width of our navigation bar is 800 and we're going to divide it by five because we have five buttons that gives me 160 
So to make this easier, I'm just going to offset little guides out here about 160. Let's just zoom in. So we have a nice little perfect guide. Next one's going to be at 320 because 160 and 160 is 320. So let's just go to 320. Next one's going to be at 480 because through 320 and 160 is 480. And the next one's going to be at 640. Right there. And the last one's just going to be our single button. Let's zoom out, see our shape. This looks kind of not so bad. So now we're going to select a line tool and create our dividers. So just hold down your mouse and till you find a line tool. And we could add a weight of one pixel. So let's just zoom in on one of our guide. I'm going to zoom in on my first one so it's like nice and big. So I'm going to come up to my guide and snap, get, get it close there and just drag out nice little shape. Mm. And let's change the color. It's not going to do this, but so we're going to, we have to double click it, double click the shape. Um, I'm going to color overlay and then select the color of, um, till it looks right. Um, that looks about right. Okay, okay. I zoom out real quick. As you guys can see, that I have a nice little divider right there. I'm gonna name this uh, divider one. Divider one. And let's just create a group for this one. If I can drop in the group, name it dividers. As we're gonna have multiple dividers. Uh, shift alt offset what, what? just hold alt I mean select first select your selection tool hold down alt then just drag and drop right there to about looks about right there you go and I'm gonna hold alt over time and take it over center it up a little and hold one more time drag and drop and center it and there you have it. We are going to clear our guides by going to view, clear guides. Okay, so if you want to rename the layer, that's okay with me. I'm going to do that right now. So to check which one you have, just select guide to one you can see. That's the last one. That's going to be our last or second. So one two three that's not going to be our third one so that's going to be third divider the next one's going to be our first one as you can see right here first divider make sure you make everything in groups so it's easier when you edit for your navigation mode this is going to be this is going to be our second one Second divider. This one's going to be first divider. Okay, so um, we're going to just minimize this group. As you can see, we have a nice little uh, group. Now I'm going to select the text tool and create a uh, text tool out here drag and drop a nice little shape uh, let's name the first one home make it about four points and I'm going to select um, aerial rounded and t-bold there we I mean, you got to select it first click it and let's make that one more time area around it and t-bone let's um, get the selection point as close as we, as we can and let's just drag this in as possibly as we can as you can see we have our home button 
to the center of that just let's click out drag and draw guides at a midpoint it's gonna snap at a midpoint so I'll just roughly snap it at a midpoint let's create another guide which is gonna be 320 um, 6, 160 through 20 160 plus uh, 320 divided by 2 that's 240 so I'm gonna zoom in a little um, we will put this at 240. The next one's going to be at um, 3. Three twenty uh, plus a four eighty divided by two. That's going to be this. What? Uh, no, that's wrong. So it's going to be four eighty plus three twenty divided by two, which is gonna give us three twenty. That is so weird. Four eighty plus three twenty divided by two. That's going to be 400, so let's just drag one out right there. As you can see, center down. Uh, the another one is going to be at uh, 160, I mean 480 plus 640. That is going to give us some um, around 640. Yeah, that's wrong, so let's do it one more time. 640 plus 480. Enter, divide, why is it not dividing? Come on now, divide by 2, which is going to give us 560. So let's just drag out a guide at 560. The next one's going to be about 720, so let's just look at it real quick. Uh, it was, um, our guide was a 640 and 800, which is gonna give us. Uh, oh well, um, 640 plus one 800 divided by two. So let's give us 720. That's HD resolution, by the way. Let's zoom now. And let me just check my time. Let's just save this real quick. I'm gonna name this nail bar in my hub top folder and wait. So we still have two more minutes. Um so let's just offset this text over. Um hold out all on the text, drag and drop till it centers out. Uh, we're gonna name this. Um, let's just name it for God's sake. Download. Delete. Uh, downloads. We'll make this bigger. Uh, make this a little bigger till everything snaps in. There you go. And now let's save this. And you have to do that for every single take, so I'm going to pause this video and do that real quick. Okay, so as you guys can see, I have my little text going on. Now I'm going to clear all the guides so it looks cleaner. And let's just group this text and name it, um, text, basically. Uh, I'm just going to select all this text, drag and drop it in a folder. Uh, by the way, I'm not going to name this text, I'm going to name this text normal, which is our normal text, and next thing I'm going to do is simple, just duplicate this group, duplicate group, hit uh, text uh, hover, that's going to be our hover text, and select, go, uh, maximize your folder, select all the text, and mm, make it red all you gotta do is go to text and uh, make it red 
and there you have it now we got all we gotta do is save and and save it uh, thank you for watching this video and have a